by Mara and it is completely wild. Um, you know, it, spotting animals is a matter of luck. You can either have a good day or you can have a bad day depending on animals and what they want to do and what their habits are for the day. Up to today, I am with one of the top spotters, um, Mr. Alex himself. Say my jumbo, Alex. Jumbo. Is Alex one of the top spotters with one of the park top game wardens, Mr. Bobby himself. Say my jumbo, Bobby. How jumbo, are you? Jumbo, man? hello. How are you? So, even with the top spotter and the top game warden, you know, although they know the best spots, it's all down to the animals. And if they don't want to come out, they won't come out. But if they do come out, that's a lucky day for you. So today is safari day. And this is the little beast we're going in. Fantastic little 4x4. Four four. I've got a big 4x4 four four actually. So, safari, here we come. So we stopped off in a little town called Sekanani. It's where we're gonna stop and have something to eat and let the midday sun go down because uh, the animals tend to come out more in the afternoon and the evening rather than in the heat of the day they tend to be more sleeping than anything else so we're going to stop here for a couple of hours chill out have a drink um, have something to eat A typical little African restaurant. I'm very well. You're well. How are you? Thank you very much. I'm good. Welcome. Thank you very much. Welcome. I'm excited about this. We're going like to have nyamio choma. Yeah. It's not ready, but I'm working on it. Hey, take your time. Yeah, take I'll take time. my time. Fantastic. So a traditional nyame o choma mm -hmm. with ugali, kachumbari, mm boga, -hmm. yuni kuchukumawiki or yuni managu, managu. And this is kachum kachumbari, kachumbari. This is a goat or lamb, goat, mbuzi, mbuzi. Goat that was slaughtered fresh this morning. Everything's fresh. Amazing, absolutely gorgeous. So today I'm eating some traditional um, nyamia choma with ugali and boga and <laughs> the traditional way of eating this is with your hands. Yes, <laughs> And the proof of the pudding is in the tasting. You don't get better. You don't get better than that. Amazing. Amazing. This goat. Grew up on natural land. There was no chemicals, nothing. And you can taste it. You can really taste it. So, just about head off into the Maasai Mara, just topping up the beast. As you can see, I've got my colleagues with me. And, uh, yeah, I'm really excited about this one. This is the truck we're using. Fantastic 4x4. Four four. Okay, enjoy. Sounds out. Hello, tomorrow. Yeah, man. So, we're heading off 
now Mara. to the Mara. Yeah. I've got my very good mother, brother from another mother here, Bobby. <laughs> yeah. He's going to be helping me and uh, showing me. Nice. He's actually a, uh, a Maasai Mara a game warden, and uh, if you come out here, he will be looking after you. This is the entrance to the Maasai Mara. We're going on safari and I'm so excited about this one. Really looking forward to it. I've missed this for years. Say my Jibana. Um eh? Salamia, salamia, lala Baka chikuli amengia ama muka tena. Van just getting the truck ready, this little beast ready for our adventure into the wilderness. From here, there are no shops, no street lights, and don't get out of the vehicle unless it is absolutely necessary because there are creatures out here that will not hesitate to send you to the promised land and probably eat you before you go there. <laughs> I'm in my hood. So, what can I say? Here we are, the Saimara, the eighth wonder of the world, I'm told, and I can certainly believe it. This is about a four hour um, safari. And we're going to be trying to hunt down, trying to track down uh, the big five. If you don't know what the big five are, it's the lion, the elephant, the rhino, the leopard, the lone buffalo. Uh, the reason these are called the big five is because they were the most hunted and uh, the most destroyed basically. So it's pretty hard to find them. But we're going to do our best to try and seek them out today. It's always hit and miss when you're on safari, what you're going to see. Uh, but we're going to have an enjoyable journey anyway, and uh, yeah, really looking forward to this one. Welcome to the Maasai Mara. So to the left we see our first batch of baboons. A troop of baboons. A troop of baboons. Yeah. So to the left we've got some antelope called atopi, atopi and, the zebras. and some zebras and some the buffalo in the background there. Bumba. 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 Five legs. So for those of you who didn't actually notice, that was a male elephant, a bull elephant. Um, these wonderful creatures used to roam the plains in their thousands. Unfortunately today with the geographical changes and the struggle for food and everything else, 
their numbers have decreased quite immensely and now um, they're very very far and few between. And this is as wild as it comes. From here onwards there's a possibility we could see anything including snakes, leopards, cheetahs, rhinos, buffalo, this is where it's at. So privileged to be here, so happy to be here. The Saimara, warthog over there. So up ahead, probably one of my favourite animals, the giraffe. These animals are lucky because they are very tall and they can pick off the leaves from high branches that other animals just can't reach. Their favourite food, believe it or not, is leaves off the thorn thistle, which other animals tend to stay away from because of its massive thorns. But the Giraffe has a way of getting its tongue round and uh, taking the leaves without being affected by the thorns. Strange but true. As cute as the little giraffes may look, if you're thinking about getting out of the vehicle and giving them a cuddle, don't. Giraffes, placid and docile as they may seem, like any other animal, are very protective about their young and can be rather hostile. is not very favorable the African Buffalo Cape Buffalo yeah it's a Cape Buffalo sorry amazing and that is a massive herd of Buffalo We're wondering what's happening, why we're watching them and they're watching us. So here we have a couple of ostriches. Uh, the brown one is female and the black one is a male. Here we have a female. Mara treetops. Yeah. This is the uh, hotel where the queen found out she was the um, she was the queen, basically. So I can't see anything yet, but my spotter has told me that up ahead is a lion, 
stalking a wildebeest an eland it's well camouflaged in the tall grass and not even the eland knows that it's there but there is a lion stalking an eland and we're going to get try and get a little bit closer uh, without disturbing um, what's happening this is nature and yes you may think it's sad that the lion is going to probably attack this eland but unfortunately that is the way of life and uh, the lion has to survive as well She's just been on the hunt, unsuccessful, so she is hungry. So today I am in Masai Mara and I'm checking into uh, my accommodation for this evening which is called Maraduma. It's a proper sort of campsite, um, yeah, camp, glam, glamping I guess they call it because it's camp, uh, camp tents with uh, all the modern facilities in it. But this place is absolutely amazing. It's cost me about 35, between 35 and 40 quid a night. but. Um, as you will see, this place is absolutely amazing. It's paradise. So look at that. Maraduma campsite. I mean, that is the Masai Mara right over there. So, in the evening, there's a possibility of seeing animals coming down to the water to drink as well. You could just sit here all night, all day, if you wanted to, and just watch the wildlife coming down to the water. So, you just go there and. Yeah. And this is the tents. I'll be staying in tonight. Yeah, you're going to stay inside there. Well, as I said, I need to explain it. Welcome. Santa Santa Bana. Okay. So you got a yeah. big double bed. Yes. Single beds. Yeah. Plenty of space, plenty of room. Yeah. Sinks, so. mirrors. All your, That's the bathroom. all your homely needs, massive shower, as I say this is camping out in the wild, toilet, fantastic, yeah. so, and from the inside, So there you have it, camping in the wild, in the Maasai Mara. You just don't get any more wilder than this. And it don't get better than, don't get much better than this. Alex on the back there, chilling out, taking his place that he loves best. That's how he likes to sit. And so as the rains hit the plains of the Maasai Mara, with it comes fresh plant life, 
making excellent grazing grounds for migrating animals like antelope, buffalo and gazelle. This is also the perfect time where lions start mating because there will be an abundance of food around for them to feed their cubs. This is the new one. Yeah. You yeah. 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 Very fast, Bwana. He can quick. I am very fast. So in the distance, we have a lone buffalo. Now the reason why these are called the lone buffalo is because they're the older buffalo who have been rejected from the herd to make room for the younger, healthier buffaloes to breed amongst the herd. Unfortunately, this makes them very vulnerable to prey and makes them very insecure and nervous. They are known to be one of the most dangerous animals on the African plains mainly because of their insecurity and they will actually attack anything around them for no reason whatsoever just for their own protection. Well it must be our lucky day. Although not one of the big five, these cheetahs are very hard to come across and a very rare find. So privileged, so lucky to be able to see these three cheetahs lying here. And yeah, just goes to show, you never know what you're gonna spot in the Maasai Mara. Thanks very much.